Hey there. How's it going? Um, today, I'm going to be unboxing this DualShock 4, um, which is for the PlayStation 4, um, PlayStation TV, and um, it says PlayStation Now, but I think PlayStation Now is a part of the PS4 and uh, PlayStation TV, which is essentially the streaming capabilities to play like PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, PSP, uh, I think Vita, I'm not too sure. I uh, actually got this yesterday. Sears has this deal, um, $29.99, price matched it at Walmart, luckily. Um, I didn't think they were going to do it, but they did. And uh, it took like 30 minutes, but... Originally, the controllers, I think, $59.99, 60 bucks, so saved $30. I think it was worth the wait, so let's get this started. So if you can tell, I'm just doing my regular uh, microphone right here. Uh, decided to be a lot easier to, to use than having to set up my stereo microphones, especially because if you were to see it, it's a very off-putting. It's, uh, it's pretty ugly. So you don't want to see that. Hopefully... Well, it's not going to come anytime soon, but those hook... Uh, the hook audio should be coming in June. So, that's something to look forward to, and with those, I'll probably record almost every single day, so just wait <laughs> six months. I'm sure everyone's going to be using them. Not everyone, but... Let me read what's on the back. Um, touchpad that supports multi-touch options for new gameplay possibilities. Or it says opens, I'm sorry. Built-in speaker and stereo headset jack add new audio options. Dual analog sticks and shoulder buttons retain that classic ergonomic feel while improving control. Share button makes social interaction actions easy with instant gameplay video and screen uploads. An enabled game, light bar combines with the PlayStation camera to precisely track players' positions and movements. Um, it says here, An evolutionary controller for a new era of gaming. The DualShock 4 wireless controller features familiar PlayStation control and innovation and innovative new additions such as a touchpad, light bar, and more. I'm sorry, it's a little, a little dark in here. Um, it doesn't really look that dark, but uh, it's very cloudy outside, so like I get, uh, if you can see the light sources coming from behind the camera, I'm getting a lot of the shadow, so. It says here that the USB cable that's to re um, charge a controller is not included, which is kind of sad. Like, I have one, because it came with the PS4, but it's like, uh, you know, that couldn't really cost that much for them just to throw it in. It kind of reminds me of how uh, the Xbox One still use battery packs. It's like, uh, come on guys, Nintendo stopped using battery packs since the DS, when I came out like in 2000, 2001, I don't remember. But, I can understand it, because battery... Um, like, those kind of batteries can last a lot longer, and they won't really diminish in charges, but at the same time, nobody wants to go out and buy batteries. I know I don't. I don't like to use batteries. Rechargeable, but still it's kind of that same thing where 
it's, like, it's more of a hassle. It's like, I'd rather just plug and play. But Xbox makes it... That's like a genius marketing scheme in order to get people to pay for their accessories. The plug and play kit is like, I think, $25. Um, they also have another accessory if you want to use most of your headsets are going to have to use uh, their I forgot what it's called but their adapter that goes underneath the controller I'll, I'll probably get one eventually I don't have my Xbox one just yet I'm getting it very soon but um, I'll do another unboxing video for that But anyways, I think for most of your systems, you're going to want at least two controllers. If you have anyone in your family, if you have a significant other, or if you just, uh, you know, I, there's, there's plenty of reasons. Some people like to use multiple controllers to have one constantly charging and then they'll use the other one whenever the other one's dying because they sit far from the TV. Luckily for me, I sit no more than um, like six feet away from my TV, so I can easily just plug up my controller to the console and charge it while playing, which is really no problem to me. I think these batteries in the DualShock 4 are not as good as um, the DualShock 3, which is the PlayStation 3 controller. But I think there's just, uh, it's kind of different because the DualShock 4 uses more vibration motors. Plus you have like the light bar, different stuff. So, but I, I'm pretty sure the battery's just a bit weaker. You can, there's mods to increase it. You could always uh, replace the battery, but there's even those accessories. I think there's like third party attachments, but um, I think you get like a solid it's about like six to eight hours, so that's plenty enough. So I'm just going to two pieces of tape that you saw me cut. Now, in my opinion, the DualShock 4 is PlayStation's best controller yet. I'm really enjoying it. Um, it took a while to get used to after playing the PlayStation 3 for, what, like seven years? But I quickly got used to it after probably a day, and then um, I went back to play some PS3 because, uh, you know, some games like Kingdom Hearts, uh, Black Ops 2, and you can feel the wear and tear that I've put into the analog sticks of the DualShock 3, and it's like, oh my, I really wish I could use a DualShock 4 on the PS3. But with a lot of these uh, remasters and, um, what is it, definitive editions, I wouldn't be surprised if most of the PS3 games are going to be making its way onto uh, PlayStation 4. Like I know a lot of a lot of games have been doing it. 
which is totally fine if it's a game that I feel should be like a collect um a collection like the God of War series, Uncharted. Something that has really been like I, I feel that if you're gonna do a remaster, it should be like a series. Uh, like so for with PlayStation, it should be like those kind of games, first party. Like I know there's Dark Souls 2 coming to PS4 and Xbox One. Uh, Final Fantasy X is making its way to PS4. I'm not too sure about Xbox One. I didn't really look into that. Um, so it wouldn't like really be out of the question to see some Kingdom Hearts on PS4, which... I don't know how I feel about that, just because, <laughs> you know, I bought 2.5 not too long ago. That's really it. Wow. I mean, there's no better way to unbox something than having a... having it being very easy on the packaging. I'm just going to slip this back in the box. Because you don't want to have to go through a lot of trouble removing the packaging, uh, untwisting any kind of twisty that there may be, holding it together. You just want to open up and play and that's how this is comes with this instruction manual which isn't really needed at all uh, maybe I'll read a little bit uh, let's see I'm assuming when you open it up, it's going to be like some kind of different language, Spanish. Um, I think that's French. I believe that is French. I don't speak French at all. Yes, it says, uh, Francias. I don't know if I said that right. A propos. De la Monte Sansfield du Shock 4. Uh, I'm not gonna try. I like to, sometimes I like to speak another language and pretend like I know how to um, pronounce. Before using this product, carefully read this map. You know what? I'm just gonna give you some. I, f I thought that. The controller could give some good, um, good sounds. So, like the improvements overall, um, man, there's a lot to talk about. But you can kind of see for yourself the differences if, um, Between these two, DualShock 4, DualShock 3, just a little bit heavier, but I like the weight, it feels nice. Before using this product, before using this product, carefully read the manual and any manuals for compatible hardware. Retain instructions for future reference. Um, for assistance with this product, please visit. Oh, it doesn't say please. Visit. They. 
visit www.us, um, that US would be replaced for where you live, like, so uk.playstation.com, or call CSCEA, customer services, at 1-800-345-7669. Battery life and duration. Do not handle damage or leaking lithium-ion batteries. The battery has a limited lifespan. Battery duration will gradually decrease with repeated usage and age. Battery life also varies depending on the storage method, conditions of use, and environmental factors. Charge in an environment where the temperature range is between 10 to 30 Celsius, which is 50 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Charging may not be as effective when performed in other environments. When the wireless controller is not used for an extended period of time, it is recommended that you fully charge it at least once a year to help maintain battery functionality. Use and handling precautions. Avoid prolonged use of this product. Take a break at least 30 minute interviews uh, at, at about 30 minute intervals. Stop using this unit immediately if you begin to feel tired or if you experience discomfort or pain in your hands or arms during use. If the condition persists, consult a doctor. Permanent he hearing loss may occur if the headset or headphones are used at high volume. Set the volume to a safe level. Over time, increasingly loud audio may start to sound normal, but can actually be damaging to your hearing. If you experience ringing or any discomfort in your ears or muffled speech, stop listening and have your hearing checked. The louder the volume, the sooner your hearing could be affected. To protect your hearing, limit the amount of time you use headset or headphones at high volume. Avoid raising the volume to block out noisy surroundings. Lower the volume if you can't hear people speaking near you. Avoid looking into the light bar of the controller when it is flashing. Stop using the controller immediately if you experience any discomfort or pain in any body parts. This product is intended for use with the hands only. The fun vibration function of this product may aggravate injuries. Do not use the vibration function if you have any ailment or injury to the bones, joints, or muscles of your hands or arms. Note that some software titles enable the vibration function by, dis uh, by default. To disable the vibration function, select Settings, Devices, Controllers from the Function screen, and then remove the check mark from Enable Vibration. Do not expose a product to high temperatures, high humidity, or direct sunlight. Do not allow the product to come in contact with the liquids. Do not put heavy objects on the product. Do not throw or drop the product or subject it to strong physical shock. When using the motion sensor function, be cautious of the following points. If the controller hits a person or object, this may cause accidental injury or damage. Before using, check that there is plenty of space around you. When using the controller, grip it firmly to make sure it cannot slip out of your hand. If using a controller that is connected to the PlayStation 4 system with a USB cable, make sure that there is enough space for the cable so that the cable will not hit a person or object. Also, take care to avoid pulling the cable out of the PS4 system while using the controller. My nose is really itchy right now. Mm. Exterior protection. What we just read was use and handling precautions. So exterior protection. Follow the instructions below to help prevent the product exterior from de deteriorating and becoming discolored. Do not place any rubber or vinyl materials on the product exterior for extended period of time. Use a soft, dry cloth to clean the product. Do not use solvents or other chemicals. Do not wipe with a chemically cre uh, treated cleaning cloth. And to register the controller, which is pairing, the first time you use a controller, or when you want to use a controller on another PlayStation 4 system, you must perform the device registration. Turn on PS4 system and connect the controller to the system with a USB cable to complete device registration. Um... End of product recycling. The DualShock 4 wireless controller contains a lithium ion battery. Follow local registrations regulations when disposing of the system. So any products can be recycled for free in the United States and Canada by dropping the product off at a number of nationwide locations. Visit Sony.com slash Ectotrade and Ecto Oh, I'm sorry, Echo Eco. It'd be Eco. Eco.sony.ca for details. Um I'm going to stop reading there because it goes into FCC. Uh, so. Uh, 
that is the DualShock 4 unboxing. I hope you guys didn't mind that uh, there's no left and right separation. But it doesn't smell new. It doesn't smell bad, but...